Well, hey, 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 YouTube, and welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the platform, allow me to introduce myself to you all. My name is Triana, and you are tuned in to Unique Guidance to Freedom. That's right. We are a growing platform where we are helping individuals all over the world reach their full potential in life just by simply saying yes to yourself. You will be saying yes to yourself on a physical level. You're going to say yes to yourself on a mental level. You're going to say yes to yourself on an emotional level. And most importantly, we are here on this platform to say yes to ourselves on a spiritual level. So if you know that what I just said just resonated with you and this is your first time on the platform, I want you to do me a quick favor. I want you to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can continue to get notifications when I have uploaded a new video. And most importantly, I want you to drop your girl a comment. Why? Because we know that words are frequency. We know that words are vibrations and we know that words are energy. And we know that what we put out there, that's what we receive back. So if you write on this platform from a standpoint of releasing things, put it out there, family, because it's important. If you're writing from a standpoint of you're growing into your knowing, you're already whole, healed, and you're going even higher in your infinite self, type that in the comments, family, okay? All right. And to my family who've been rocking with your girl, sliding with your girl, gliding with your girl, coasting with your girl, you know, as I always say on the platform, I am proud of you. Why? Because you, me, we, and all the new subscribers who are joining the platform, we are taking the initiative to say yes to ourselves. No matter how uncomfortable the challenges are, we are going to continue to keep growing into our knowing and keep evolving as these spiritual beings here on this planet having a human experience. So I want to be the first to tell you that I am proud of you. Keep going, my brothers and sisters, because it's only going to get better and better and better for us, okay? All right. All right, so this is the time right here, family, on the platform where we take the time to show our dear gratitude and our thankfulness. If your day have started out rocky, you have not taken the time just to tell the universe, tell God, source, energy, infinite intelligence, whatever you want to call it, thank you. I want you to pause this video right now and take the time just to say thank you. While you go ahead and do that, I'm going to go ahead and say my thanks, speak my thankfulness now on the platform again, as I've already done and I do all day throughout the day. Because you can never get enough of telling God, source, infinite intelligence, the creator, the most high of all things. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and say my thankfulness, okay? Most high, infinite intelligence higher being, most powerful, magnetic, magnificent, the creator of all life. Thank you for another opportunity to get on this platform to speak to my brothers and sisters near and far, to give a good word to somebody, to uplift somebody on this wonderful Wednesday, whatever time that they are watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the air that I breathe. Thank you for my eyesight, for my beautiful skin, for the algorithm of my heart rate. Just to be out in nature, enjoying the sun, the birds, the bees, the, the trees, wonderful life that you have created. Thank you for just allowing me to take a step back and walk in my authentic self and just be free and be expressive and just be me. I thank you for the unconditional love that you have down in the inside of me. Thank you for my intuition, for being in alignment with my intuition. Thank you for allowing me to come to the clear understanding of who I am as a powerful being here on this planet. And as I continue to be in alignment with my spiritual self and grow higher into my spiritual powers, I will continue to do the work that I have signed, what contract that I have signed to do here on this planet to be all that I can be and I'm thankful for that I am thankful I am thankful I am thankful okay family so while you take the time to share your thankfulness take however much long you need to just let it out and as you continue to let out your thankfulness watch the load just uplift up off of you just showing gratitude alone family is so powerful so just take as much time as you need to show your thankfulness, your sincere gratitude to the source, the creator of all life, because that's what it's about, family, knowing who you are down in the inside. So take your time to show your gratitude. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and proceed and move forward with the message, okay? 
All right. So the message what I want to speak about on today, family, I am in a different scenery. I am outside in nature and I'm loving it. And I continue to keep smiling because smiling is so wonderful. I'm happy. I'm, I'm complete. I'm healed. I'm whole. I'm healthy. And I'm just I'm loving the fact that I'm saying yes to myself and I continue to evolve as this spiritual magnetic individual that i am you know here on this planet just having a human experience so if you see me smiling it's because i'm thankful i really truly am thankful and a lot of people during this time in their life family they can't say the same and if you are here watching this video and you are really truly thankful that you chose yourself which means which means choosing the god that's down in the inside of you the god that's the god of all knowing the god the source the energy infinite intelligence whatever you want to call it that's the creator of all life that gives you the breath that you breathe and you know that it's there with you and you are evolving you should be smiling too family as you watch this video put a big smile on your face because it's important just showing your gratitude just smiling too is a is a, a form and a way of showing thankfulness spirit we can't soul spirit infinite intelligence we can't see it but we can feel it deep down in our souls family and as you continue to align yourself with nature, with yourself, with oneself, you become solid. You become solid, whole, with the source of all life. And that's just, that's thankfulness. And I'm thankful that I'm there. And that's not even a message that I want to talk about on today. But what I really want to talk about, family, is if you are in a season of change in your life right now, and you find yourself where you are manifesting things, I want to be the first to tell you, I've said this before on one of my videos. If you have not watched my videos, go back and watch the previous videos. But I've said this before on one of the videos. I can't recall which video I had put it on, but I talked about being tested because that's just a universal law. When you put a manifestation out here, trust and believe you are going to be tested in the season, in this, in this time that you are in in your life. And the reason why I'm saying that, family, is because I'm saying this. Once you get a taste of who you are spiritually, going back to that 3D dimension does not serve you any longer. And I'm going to give my testimony on that because I released myself from a narcissistic relationship, which was my children's father. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't mind disclosing that because a lot of us women especially and men... Um, can relate to this situation in any kind of intimate relationship that you were in with someone. You have worked so hard to get to the place where you are at right now in your life, in your mental, emotional, your physical, and your spiritual level. And because now that you know that we are playing a spiritual game, I've said that too on my videos, we are in a spiritual game. Once you know how to play the game, you cannot. Your spiritual self is so powerful, you cannot go back to that old person that you once was it no longer serves you it feels like you are out of climax with yourself type that in the comment triana i can't go back to my old self because when i go back to my old self i feel like i am out of climax and you are family that's because you are now going back to these relationships to these people that you have discarded you have let go it does not serve you, family, especially when you are healed. And you'll know it because it does not resonate with your spirit. Now, I had my kid's father on no contact for probably about six months. And I was in the process of, you know, seeing the revolving patterns, seeing these things go on time after time after time after time. And as I seen these things go on time after time, I had the opportunity on my spiritual journey to reflect. I don't know if some of y'all are in the season right now where you don't let some of these narcissistic intimate relationships go. Whether it don't even have to be um, an intimate relationship with somebody. It can be your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, a co-worker, a job related uh, situation, anything. Letting those things go and really reflecting on who you are after a course period of time allows you to really grow into your spiritual self to see who you are as a spiritual being here having a human experience and once you get to that certain level of evolving in your spiritual self you cannot go back to that person that you once were, you once was meaning you start doing things on a spiritual level you really start to heal yourself from the inside out you start to forgive on a different level meaning 
you may have to go a period of time not talking to these individuals but once you start healing yourself and you really say okay forgiving does not require me to forgive that individual it requires me to forgive me once you get to that point in your life and you start opening back up those doors to where you start be, uh, being tested you will see that those people does not no longer serve you and i'm saying that because once i took my children's father off of unblock right and we started to talk cordially for the sake of the children it started to become where this person, he wanted to come back into my life where he thought things were going to pick back up on where they were. And, it, and, it's, and it's not. I'm not there no more. I, I can conversate with you for the sake of co-parenting. It's called co-parenting for the sake of the kids. Sometimes, family, you got to do what you got to do to release yourself from these people to get where you need to be. I'm going to say that one more time, family. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do, meaning what I did was put him on block for about six months till I got where I needed to be as a whole complete person now to speak to him on that forgiving level. But we're not going back to those same repeating patterns. And yes, family, don't get it twisted. People do heal. People do change. But guess what? You have to be discerning enough whether that person has changed enough for you to be with them in that time or whether you, whatever you manifest, move forward. And I manifest in mind not being back with, no, I'm not going back to the past. The past is a part of the present and it's a part of the future. And where I'm going, where I'm going right now in my season, all that stuff together is making me stronger and stronger. And I'm not playing rewind. Type that in the comments. We are not playing re rewind in our in this season in our life we are focused on the present moment right now we know what we went through in the past but we're going to be happy happy to be the people that we are right now because we are saying yes to ourselves happy that we are growing into our knowing and, and, and growing a, a more intuitive alignment with the most high and trusting in your intuition a lot of us done been so conditioned where we done strayed away from our intuition and our intuition has only been their family to help us aid us and guide us in our path here navigating in this human experience and as I continue to call my own personal shots, be my own creator of my fate, my destiny, what, what the most high God, the source, energy, infinite intelligence wants me, you to do, you can't go back. You shouldn't go back. But you have to be discerning enough in this time in your life, family, to pick and choose what you want to do. So I'm going to tell you, family, I got caught up where we were talking and we even got to the point where we were starting to exercise with each other. And I'm sitting here looking at all this stuff. And something in the inside of me was like, this ain't right. Like, we had got the, it was the same repeating patterns. What they say narcissists do, they going to wash, rinse, repeat. It's the same washing cycle. Wash, rinse, repeat. The text messages started back. Sending the pictures started back. Because, you know, he's doing his thing on his fitness and stuff like that. And I'm proud of him. I'm, I'm proud that you, you know, taking control of your health, doing what you're doing, but we are in different seasons now. We are always changing, always changing. And I overstand, you hear me, family? I overstand that in a point in the time that I was in in my life, I was trapped. I couldn't see past who I was. It was like I had a muzzle, a, a, a muzzle, of them things they put on them dog's mouth. I might be saying it wrong, but it's like I had it over my mouth. Where I couldn't breathe, I couldn't speak. I didn't know who I was. I even look back on some of these pictures that pop back up in my memory, y'all. Like when I was had all that weight on me, just it, it was it was ridiculous. I didn't know who I was, but I had to go through that experience. And you know, the only thing I do right now in this season of change in my life spiritually, I just tell the Most High, thank you, cause I am powerful. Thank you, cause I am enough. Thank you. That I, I overstand these different tests that I have to go through. And that was a test that I went to. So I want to advise I, that I went through. So I want to advise somebody right now that in this season in your life right now, if you are being tested, if these people that you know you have discarded, you have cut off in your life, try to creep back up in. I'm going to tell you, family, don't fall for the okie dokie. Do not press rewind and do not go back. You are in a spiritual test right now. 
and you have to win you will win because this is the confirmation that you need we are all going through different challenges but it's how you handle the challenges to determine whether you're gonna keep elevating on this game or staying stuck and you don't want to be stuck you're not there no more family i'm not there no more family this dude had the nerve to um wanted to register us for a wedding some of our good friends you know who we both you know know they're not really good friends of mine but he wanted us to go to their their um uh vow renewal and the wife because me and her energy frequency hit it off so good she told him that he couldn't come unless it was me so we were back in the gauge of um talking and stuff and i got sucked in while i was getting ready to go but something just was not resonate with me family going out eating no t like it's like no kind of eye contact um communicate it was just the same thing being in that guy's aura and in his presence was the same energy it was the same frequency so that's what i'm telling y'all family we got to be mindful you got to be mindful of the physical aspect you got to be mindful of the mental aspect you got to be mindful of the emotional aspect and you got to be mindful of the spiritual aspect because people can do a whole outer body avatar exchange like working on their fitness but the emotion still the same the mental still the same and that damn spirit that's down up in the inside of them is still the same it does not change and if you know that you don't worked on yourself spiritually and you are aligned with the most high and you come back in the presence of these people and something don't resonate with you you better get up out of there this message is for somebody on today you better get up out of there because it does not serve you any poor, no, it does not serve you any longer. You're not there. You're on another plateau. And when this guy called me, I had to let him know. And guess what? He was saying the same repetitive things about the guys that I've dated in the past. They'll never compare to him. He got in his feelings because I had to cut the cycle off. I'm not there no more. Yes, we can communicate co-parentally. Even if that's the word, I don't know. We can, we can, we can communicate co-parenting. For the sake of the children, I don't, I don't, I, we, we, I'm at the level now we shouldn't have to see, you know, the chaos and all that stuff. But believe you me, if I got to put you back on block again, I would do that. Sometimes you got to show people you mean what you say. And I'm there, family. You are there too, family. So let's not go back on our word. Past this, get get past this 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 stage, this phase you are in right now in your life, family, because you've been manifesting some powerful things in your life, and believe you me, you are going to get it. Just hold fast, just just be patient. It's something about the universe that teaches us patience, family. Come up out of that, gotta move fast, that three D world, all that stuff you in. Come up out of that, family. Be you, be free. Let the Most High really show you who you are. Healing yourself from the inside out. Being patient with yourself. Being humble. Don't be in a rush. Knowing who you are and what you really possess in the inside. And now that I done got a good old taste of this food, baby, Triana not going back. Type that in the comment. I'm not going back. I can't. I love you. I love you enough to let you go, but I'm on a whole nother plateau right now. Family, you are on a whole nother plateau right now. That old you is tarnished. It's gone. It does not resonate with you no more. You are on another frequency. And as we keep evolving, getting out here in the sun, eating the right proper nutrients, eating the fruits, eating the vegetables, meditating, fasting, taking your salt baths, lighting your candles, doing your rituals, knowing that your ancestors is working for you in the background, seeing the secronyms of the numerology, the numbers. I'm telling you, you are in alignment you are there you can't go back i won't go back so i don't know who this message is for on the day but this message is for you and if it resonates with you type it in the comments triana this message was for me and i'm going to continue keep evolving i'm going to continue to keep moving forward and i'm going to continue to keep walking in my purpose which is me here as a spirit here in this human flesh in this avatar having a human experience so until the next time I upload another video, family, I want y'all to continue to be grounded. Get out in the sun. Go hug a tree. Go get in the grass. Be your authentic self. Who give a damn what the people, what they looking at? 
do you be free and enjoy yourself while you're doing it because a lot of people are suffering they have been left behind in their mind and you are evolving in your happiness so i'm proud of you do what serves you best family until the next video peace